are you guys? My name is Julian Hemmings, and I'm with Edward Fultz. Can you please introduce yourself, brother? Uh, yeah, former, uh, graduated from Morehouse College in 2015. Uh, graduated from the Howard University School of Law this past May 2020. And currently, I'm a first-year associate at the Reed Smith in the D.C. office. Uh, so, man, uh, can you tell us more about, like, your background, your culture? We go in there. Yeah, so I, start, I guess I started at the beginning. Uh, originally, I was born in Panama, the country. Um, was there until I was two years old, and then moved to Atlanta, and went back and forth into mostly high school. So I grew up in a very bilingual home. My is Hispanic. My dad is Black. Uh, unfortunately, my dad passed away when I was nine years old due to cancer. So I was raised primarily by a single Hispanic mother. So I did all the, so I did all the traditional Hispanic things. Um, Novenas, Posadas, uh, Misa, uh, Sound of the Cross. She wrote, She raised me in the Catholic faith. But I was, also went to a lot of Baptist churches where so I was very um, exposed to many different cultures and interpretations of what it meant to be a good person. And so through that and through my mom's, you know, determination and grit, I always took education very seriously. I told my mom, mom, never worry about education. I got it. You know, so K through 12, I was always that kid getting straight A's. When I got a B, I was upset. When I got 88s, 87s, I was like, nah, that's not me, that's not me. So I hold, I hold myself to a high standard and give me full accountability, give me full accountability when I didn't meet that bar. Regardless of what everybody else graded or relate to, I have my own accountability and standard. Uh, so my best friend, Zachary Austin, who's currently a doctor at Grady, he, he told me I should go to Morehouse College. I was like, uh, I don't know, man. I kind of want to go to another, to like a public university, not private. And I just didn't, you know, at that time, being raised by an Hispanic mother, I didn't know too much about HBCUs. It wasn't a big thing. I did my due diligence. I went to the campus. I went to visit, talked to a bunch of friends. And as soon as I got to the campus, call it God, call it energy, I felt this was a decision for me. And in that decision, I knew like, okay, when I want when I want when I want to go to law school, I knew it had to be the same. I knew I had to be another HBCU. I wasn't looking at other uh, PWIs, other institutions. I knew I had to go to one of the six law school HBCUs. Howard's number one, one of them. So uh, that you know, I start talking for now. But that's my background. You know, from Morehouse, took two years off, uh, and went to uh, go to Howard Law, and just graduated this past May. Wow, wow. I remember talking to you. You told me that when you were at Morehouse, you received a couple of honors for your academic success. And, you know, just for you being a, were you a first generation college student as well? Uh, my mother got her associate degree. Uh, so I was, a, I was a first year bachelor uh, degree college student. <laughs> wow, wow. So you, so you were first gen American, uh, first gen college student, uh, oh, no. bachelor student. Man, did you have, when you were in the process of receiving your, uh, your BA, right? Correct. When you received your BA, did you have, how'd you deal with self-doubt? Or did you even have doubt? Because from you being a little kid, you're like, I got this education. You seem very like, you know, like you, like you always knew who you were. So did you always know who you were or did you have any doubt in, in between your journey? Yeah, man. I mean, of course you have doubt. I mean, I don't think you're a human being. You don't have self-doubt regardless of what it is. Call it grades, uh, work, any type of school, even dating. You know, you have doubts. Like, you don't know, you know the kind of man you are, but the problem is what other people view you. And that's what the doubt, I think, instills from. Other people's perception and or judgment of you. And so, of course, you know, you know, high school, like high school, like we saw the traditional high school movies, you know, Luckily, I played sports, and so, but I saw a lot playing sports. You know, jocks versus the nerds versus the popular girls versus the the band squad versus you know all these little cliques per se. And at the end of the day, everybody likes what you like. You know, it's your interests. Like whether you like music, whether you like art, whether you like sports, whether you like you know smarts. I was part of the in crowd because I played sports, but I also was very smart. Like I, you know, I had I had 3.7 GPA in high school. Like I told people, no, I'm not. I don't care what y'all say. I'm studying my books. Like this is what I do. I came to school for education. I'm doing my part while studying whatever. Um, so even even when I was going into Morehouse, um, 
I I knew what I was capable of doing, like studying, being successful. But I guess the doubt came from was I good enough? Because you know, being at Morehouse, every other black man for the most part wants the same thing. They all want to be successful in their own way. Whether they want to be a lawyer, doctor, entrepreneur, engineer, what have you, they all want to be successful. And so that level of competition rises myself. Like, dang, he's doing that. I need to step my game up. Without him, Without me even knowing who he was, I just saw and envisioned that. And so that gave me more motivation to do better for myself. So I, so I always had to elevate my game every year, freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year. And through that, so, I mean, but like you said, then going, you know, so I guess a little more about myself. During my two years I took off from Morehouse to Howard Law, I started two companies, a chess company and more racial speaking company. And in those companies, I learned about, you know, I taught, I mentor, instruct the K through 12 and young adults on the game of chess and related to life. And in those, in that company, I learned by clientele services. I learned by marketing. I learned by advocating for oneself. I learned by advocating for others because you know, I work with a lot of younger children who didn't really know how to articulate themselves or you know, matriculate and how to use certain language, how to format how they, what, what they want, how to go about your tone and diction in dissecting a question or interpretation of a concept. The second, because I found out a lot of the kids they just want someone to talk to. Um, uh, you know, after, I mean, unfortunately, unfortunately, I did work with a lot of low-income schools, low-income communities, and I noticed that some of the kids just wanted, to, just wanted to tell me about their science project that day. Some of the kids just wanted to tell me what did, you know, Brittany say to Josh in the hallway. Like, they just really want someone to talk to. So they, let me do more. I was just, you know, let me talk to them more. And then, so I did a motivational speaking company to speak to them more, to give them more inspiration about peace, love, and positivity. I spoke a lot about God in my work. I just make sure to keep a positive attitude no matter what the circumstances are, because life is up and down. Like I said, life, there are going to be ups and there are going to be downs. The key is what kind of person you are when you're in response to those ups and downs. Everybody's happy when money's good, when your relationship is going well, when your family's healthy, when all your bills are paid, everybody's happy. Who won't be happy? Person on you when your money's tight, when you have relationship trouble, when you failed a great, when you failed something, whether it's school, whether it's a project at work, and then when your bills are, you know, month to month or whatever, what kind of person are you? Your person to complain, your person to move forward, your person to be stationary, and so all that. Yeah.